There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good fish right there. Welcome to another episode of Bass with Captain Luke. Guys, have you ever had one of those days? I'm having one of these days where it's just not connecting for me. The fish are around, I just can't make the connection. So I'm throwing this one particular bait and it always brings bass to the boat for me. Stick around, I think you guys are gonna like this one. So for those of you who've been following my channel for a bit, my last video was actually about this bait right here. It was actually about flukes, but it was flukes when in regards to bank fishing. And today's video is flukes, but when you're in a bass boat. All right, so let me give you guys the condition so you guys understand what's going on. If you guys can see over my shoulder, it is a beautiful, beautiful, sunny, bluebird type of day. There's scattered clouds, winds coming from the southwest, so it's coming behind me, so I'm moving along nicely along this canal. Bass are all around me. A good friend of mine is just freaking killing them. I just can't seem to put some fish into the boat. So what I did was I switched gears and I went with a fluke and now the fish are starting to come, out to come into the boat. Are they big fish? No, they're not. But when you're in a kind of a mental slump and you need to just, you need to catch something, you gotta check out the fluke out here in the Everglades. So for you guys to get an idea of what outfit I'm using today, I'm actually using my BFS uh, outfit. This is a custom rod, a seven foot medium to medium light on a Cast King Zephyr. 20 pound braid on a 15 pound mono uh, floral carbon leader this time. And it's a four aught uh, Gamagatsu light wire hook. There he is. It is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. Well, one of the nicer ones today. Can't horse them around on this little custom light rod. But it's a nice fish nonetheless though. There he is. I'm telling you, when you want a confidence boost, and I needed one big time, switch over to the fluke. Beautiful fish right here, guys. So like I mentioned, Four odd, thin gauge hook, zero weight. I don't like fishing my flukes uh, with weights on them. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the hook through the other side of the back and just skin hooking. What happens with this type of technique, since I'm not using a weight, I gotta fish it on the slower side, but I gotta keep an eye on the fluke. Cause what this does is sometimes it stays on top moving but if you move it the right way, the nose will go down and it'll dive. And that's what I want it to do. And then I'm keeping an eye on it. And as soon as it passes a transitional type of area, the bass are just blowing up on it. I'm not blowing up, but they're grabbing it. And I'm able to see the flash and set the hook. So some may be saying, why the fluke and not a jerk bait? And that's a very good question. But the reason being is because you can't throw a jerk bait inside vegetation. If you try to, you're gonna have a headache getting those treble hooks out of this grass and this saw grass and all this other stuff. So with a fluke, first of all, it gives me a single hook, which I could really lay into them. Second of all, I could get deep inside that vegetation and work it out slowly where I can't with a treble type of bait. It's very easy to overwork this bait. If you twitch too hard, it's gonna spin on you in big circles. But if you twitch lightly, it's just gonna move very easily and lazily, and that's what you're looking for. I especially like the fluke because I can use it as a search bait, especially if like you're a power fisherman and you have a tendency to fish a little quicker. I like the fluke because I can work the water column fairly quick. I can test to see if they're on the surface. I can test to see if they're in the middle of the water column. If I take my time and ease back a little bit and I fish the bottom, I can tell if they're on the bottom. So by adjusting the depth of the fluke, I could tell the mood of the fish. And if I want to target bigger fish, I could, change the, I could change the type of bait, but I already know where in the water column the bass are operating in for that day.
Now you will catch exotics. In this case, I caught a Mayan cichlid. They love flukes too. Oscars love flukes too. And peacocks like flukes also. So you're not spared from them. You just, you do minimize your chances a little bit by changing to a single hook application down here in the Everglades when it comes to our exotics. Cause on a treble bait, you'll be going crazy catching them. So be aware of that. You will catch exotics. Oh, that's an Oscar. This Oscar, <laughs> this very energetic Oscar made it look like it was a big bass the way it hit this fluke. But even Oscars will hit the fluke. There he is. Right by the pads. Fluke barely touched the water and he, and he slammed it right in the pads. And as you can see, I mean, they're taking it pretty deep, but look how far down that bass is grabbing or the bass are grabbing the fluke. It's a nice chunk. Once you got them honed in, it's almost every cast. They're relating the cover. They're not in the open, but they're chunky. I mean, look at these guys. It's a nice one. It's a nice chunk. Again, right underneath those branches. If you could just cast that fluke right underneath the branches, it is every cast. So when it comes to the fluke, it's all about, sometimes it's all about the location of the cast. Again, it's very, very sunny. So if you could find those isolated pockets or the shades underneath trees and the branches and stuff, you're going to guarantee yourself a catch in these type of conditions. There he is. <laughs> right next to the boat. And there he goes. <laughs> hey, those are the best type of releases. You get to see how big they are and then they release themselves. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. So that was a good one. <laughs> so what ha what's happening is pretty cool. You can see the you can see the bass come up, gulp it and then come down slowly. But sometimes on the hook set I'm either missing them or they're coming loose cuz I didn't stick them well enough. But it's a pretty cool thing to watch them slurp the fluke. When it comes to the Everglades, the fluke is a must. I know I said the same thing when it came when it, on my bank fishing video. This one's a much shorter video because a lot of the stuff that I explained in that video correlates to the boat. The boat is just a little bit differently, is a little bit different because you get cast into different areas because of the perspective of the boat. But on land or on the water, you gotta throw the fluke. The main thing, if you guys are observing carefully, is let the fluke do its own, let the fluke, let the fluke be the fluke, if that makes any sense. I give it a moment. I cast and I give it a moment and let the bait settle. And while it's settling, the bass are just crushing it. Don't be in a rush to put the fluke to work. I, I have a tendency to do that when I get too excited because of the bite, to settle down and let the bait do the work. Every time I cast underneath these trees, it's a bite. The bait never settles and they're just destroying it. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. 
That's a good fish right there. He just slammed it. He just slammed it. Oh. All right, I thought it was a hell of a lot bigger than that. And the hook just popped out. But look at that, this one's been caught before. His gill plate's been busted up. A beautiful fish. So the Fluke, the most versatile soft plastic. You can fish it on top, you can fish it in the middle, you can fish it in the bottom. If you're brand new to bass fishing or you're brand new to fishing South Florida from a boat or from a bank, put these in your box or put these in your boat. When the day is rough, these guys will catch you some fish and put a smile on your face. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like the video, share the video. Better yet, just subscribe to the community. We are growing. AEGuideService.com. I'll see you guys again soon, guys. Take care.